One of the interesting things we've noted of late is uh, media companies are telling us or we're able to see that most of their traffic is being consumed via smartphones, smartphones and tablets. Um, the government and the e-commerce sites are following that trend too. Mo more, even more interesting than that is the fact that this is not uh, a, a change in traffic, it's additional traffic. So people not only are they using the internet as they would have done in work, they're using it on their way home on a commute, they're using it in the evening as well. Um, a couple of factors for that, a couple of reasons for that. One is the is smartphones and tablets and the second screen. So you might be watching TV in the evening, but you would also have the, the iPhone or the, or the Android or the tablet sitting beside you enjoying content related to what you're watching on TV or something completely different. Also, the, the ease of using the internet. It used to be you went to your spare room or wherever the big ugly computer was kept. Now the, the computer can be in your hand, it can be in the kitchen, it can be in the living room, it can be wherever humans are. And that is, a, that is resulting in massive additional internet traffic. People are consuming the web in a different way. Well, the key is, is education for the business, for businesses and people who produce content. Now content can be video, Content can equally be the hotel rooms that you are selling or it could be the text that is on your educational website. The education process behind that is, is long and we need, to, we need to have patience with those users and we need to, to push them down that road into using the internet in a transactional way. Um, we're way behind other countries in doing that, some of it's cultural, some of it's technical, but we have to get going, we have to move forward with that. In Northern Ireland they have made uh, leaps and bounds and have got the most dense fibre network in, in, in Europe. Um, the Republic is, is slightly different, there, there are a lot of reasons for that. But there's no reason why we should rest on our laurels and accept that as it's never going to change because it can change. Um, the, the inroads that we have made via organisations like INEX and the IDA have been, have been great for Ireland PLC in the eyes of the world. But broadband and its penetration, its availability outside the cities in, in, in Ireland is, is poor and it needs to improve. We need to do that by collaboration, we need to do that by investment. Perhaps we need to do that with some help from the public sector, um, but that must improve. We will get left behind and we must sort that out. Analytics is absolutely key. It's one of the real benefits in trading online. You can you can see where where your customers are coming from physically, which device that they're using, how long they've stayed, where they've gone on your, on your site, what they've bought, what they haven't bought, what they've seen, what they haven't seen. And that's fantastic. But the next stage of that is taking that one step further, and it's the concept of big data. So for example, in, uh, in the UK, Transport for London, who run the Tube and the buses and so on, have made all of their data available to anyone for free to interrogate. So, you can look at journey patterns, you can look at where people, how people move across this network, how they don't, why they don't. It would be fantastic in Ireland, for example, for the public transport authorities and the public sector to make that data available. It's the concept of big data. We can see inside that recognised trends and that's opportunity for connected consumers. It's opportunity for people to supply things that people might want in their daily lives. All of that's wrapped up in the big data concept and it's, it's one of the most uh, exciting opportunities for Ireland and the Ireland internet industry. The cloud is, is, is very much a job creator or a potential job creator. One of the trends we've noticed in the last two years is the move from everyone doing their own kind of IT stack in an island fashion, that is, that's gone. Um, and the move to doing what's called private clouds, where you would operate using the best of cloud technology, but still kind of owning it, that is there and that is accepted. But the next stage, what we're seeing next, is, is the concept of commodity computing, where people who want to do stuff online, these can be really large companies or very small companies, are drawing down the capacity they need on a, on a per use basis and that is becoming ingrained in the way that we look at computing now and the way that we look at the, the internet industry. Um, 
That is a wealth creator, it's a job creator because it allows people to get to market faster with what they're doing and you no longer need to invest millions of euros in, in your IT infrastructure. You just need to have a good idea and a willingness to get on and, and, and do that and that is the very essence of wealth creation. I don't think the, the frameworks are in place yet. Um, the old model was one where someone would have an idea, we have to get a guy who knows about these computer things in order to help us do that. The cloud and the cloud type services will allow that idea to get to market much quicker. But in order to in order to really use those technologies, it, there's, a, there's a gap where the business is still almost frightened of the technology and doesn't necessarily know where to go next with that. Um, our advice is to start with your trusted web agency, to start with your trusted technology advisor, to ask them to lean on them, to ask them to bring you bring you solutions that are cloud orientated or that might that might make your business perform better online. Start with your trusted partners and be good at what you're good at. The understanding of how the web can help in some businesses is there. It's understood. In traditional businesses, so to speak, in in retailing or in some of the in some of the um, the artistic and creative sectors, it's not necessarily there yet. Our advice is always very simple, it's know your customer, know what you're trying to say to them and say it in your own way online, whether that be by show and tell video, whether that be by voice over audio, whether that be by um, some sort of download that you can read in a book fashion, or whether it just be by text and, and nice graphics. Make sure you know what you want to say to those people, put it online in a way that you would say it were they in your shop or were they in your studio or in your museum or where, wherever that happens to be. Um, lean very heavily on your suppliers and your advisors and challenge them. Challenge them to give you answers to what you want to do from a business perspective. Ask them to bring you technical solutions and make sure that they are working hard for you to, to do with your core businesses, which is sell your products or promote your services.